Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome back to our special Butterstash.com 10-part series on Gmail 301 Advanced Studies. In this segment, we're going to look briefly at keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts are built right into Gmail, and when you start taking advantage of them, you can be more efficient, handle your email faster and easier, and take advantage of all the functionality that's built into Gmail. The keyboard shortcuts in Gmail are based on mnemonics, which means that they're created so that it's easy to remember them. So, for example, basic things like compose a new email is C. To reply is R. To reply to all is A. To get a list of the keyboard shortcuts, right in Gmail, just press the question mark key. You see here, here are some for the application, different actions, some of which we've mentioned, jumping so that you can move from the inbox to the contacts to the labels and back to the inbox again. You can select items by using the asterisk. You can use asterisk A to select all conversations, asterisk N to deselect them. You can navigate, and close out of this. You can go to this page and see a list of all the keyboard shortcuts. It gives you a definition and an action might find that it, and when you're first doing the keyboard shortcuts, you might want to print this out so that you have it for reference. It's very handy. And also, if you wish, in Google Labs, which is under Settings, there's a Labs feature, Custom Keyboard Shortcuts, that you can enable, and it lets you customize keyboard shortcut mappings to be exactly what you want them to be. So if you're having difficulty with a few of the ones that are predefined in Gmail, you can enable this labs item and create your own keyboard shortcuts. Once you get used to the keyboard shortcuts, you won't know how you lived without them. Keep in mind that this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all 10 parts.